welcome to our how to draw snowflake series these snowflakes are available for free in a bundle from my creative fabrica store and these snowflakes are eight in number which we are going to build one by one and these are available for free from my creative fabrica store and the link to this design will be in the description of this video so these are the snowflakes which I have created and today I'm going to attempt to create this this style so you can see here on my Etsy shop in the Christmas section these snowflakes are very useful when it comes to uh, using during the Christmas time as a printable or as a vinyl design or as a sublimation design today I'm going to attempt to make a design like this one so let's begin what I'm going to do this is my illustrator document I'm going to build this in illustrator and I'm going to bring up my guides I'll show you some snowflakes I built in other videos so you can watch them as well but right now I'm going to work on this new design so what I'm going to do is bring up my guide start the design from the center and what look at the design again this is a very simple design and we will make it very quickly so let's begin what I'm going to do I'm going to first of all go to view show grid snap to grid I'll bring uh, I, I will start the snapping and what I'm going to do simply when I without snapping it the geometrical shapes are difficult to build but with this snapping on the shapes are built rather quickly so once here and here and I'll just change the color and change the stroke I will increase the size remember this is a 12 and 12 inch cardboard so I want everything to be in this confines so I'll squash it a little and I will bring it right in the middle of artboard by selecting align to artboard I will horizontal align center here you go simply and now I'm going to take the pen tool again draw a start drawing a line from here now snapping is on so I know the line will be straight like this and I will just put a transverse line like this I'll start from here and it goes here so with the help of this snap to grid I have made perfect geometrical design you can see very quickly so this is one design now here you can see there are two different designs in this one one is like this and the other hand is somewhat different we are going to build that design as well so what I'm going to do I'm just going to put it aside for a while and what I'm going to do I'm going to build this simple arm so snapping is on I'll just choose with my pen tool and make a line and choose pen tool again and draw a hand like this slightly on the top here here you go that's it and I will just just for the fun of it I'll put a triangle triangle or I'll use symmetry so I use I can choose this shape control C and control V that's it now I have this shape here I'll just bring the size down change from stroke to fill and just put it here just to give this snowflake its own character now I'll select everything I'll just turn off my snapping hide the grid my basic designs are done and I'm going to select this design align to artboard align everything in the center and the other thing which I'm not a big fan of are these sharp corners so what I'm going to do is select these sharp corners and select this part 
object expand and unite from pathfinder unite pathfinder is either here or if you don't have it you can go to windows pathfinder so this is now a object and i will just align it to the center of the artboard and now i'll turn these corners into rounded corners for that i'm just going to select this and direct selection tool now with the help of these round handle which appears i'm just going to bring them little like this now th this looks better select everything align it to the artboard center now these are my basic units i'm just going to make a copy and put it aside because if I destroy this copy, I'll always have a safe copy. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to, and I'm just going to bring this line, make sure that it goes to the other side. So I'll just select, uh, let me hide the guides. I'll just select this anchor point with the arrow key. I'm just going to bring it slightly and uh, lower than the center point and let and select everything object expand and unite now this is a compound path and ready to go a shape of its own here it is it is highlighted so this is one shape what i'm going to do now i'm going to just rotate it by 45 degree angle and i'm going to Control C, cut copy and paste in front, Control F, and I'm just going to rotate it like that and put it aside here. So it is a little bit in the center, and I'm going to delete this one. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring this shape here, and I'll just keep the safe copy here, Control C, Control V and work on this shape i'll just hide this this shape for now hide from the layer panel i'll bring this shape here i'll work fin work and finish this shape first so what i'm going to do align everything to the center of the artboard again these lines these are, i want to make them really rounded so for that what i will do is I'll just select this and stroke and caps these are the caps so I'm going to make it rounded this is good and simply make this a little bit smaller and let's see how our design is looking align everything object expand and unite and i will now bring up my other design which i made here you go that's it with the help of these two basic units now i'm going to finish this snowflake design so i'm going to select this one first i'm going to copy it paste in front with Control f and now what i'm going to do i'm going to just make it hold shift and rotate and make this design upside down like this one i'll just select both align to selection i will horizontally distribute them properly and select this one and select this one Control c and Control f again just rotate with my mouse by holding shift and this shape will just rotate properly and now with this shape what i'm going to do i'm going to transform reflect now i'm going to vertically reflect it and make a copy bring the copy to the other side by holding shift and my, with my mouse and holding shift i'm going to bring this copy to the other side what i want that i want these to be uh align properly to so align to selection now these are aligned to pro align properly i'm going to group them and then choose align to artboard 
then I'll align horizontally to the artboard. Now simply I'm going to reflect it, reflect this unit. So select them, transform, reflect, horizontal reflect and copy and bring it to the lower part of the design and distribute them horizontally properly make them a unit by object expand and by uniting now this is a unit which if i align to artboard it will align very nicely to the center of the design and i'll just remove my guides so you can see the snowflake design is almost done and just check the alignment and and i will fuse these together because i know they are exactly aligned and they are exactly in the same space just to make sure uh, align them to selection yeah so now they are aligned properly and this one and this one align proper so now i'm going to select four of those object expand unite and select everything object expand unite and this snowflake is ready